Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm coming to you with a two estate sale thrift haul video. Both estate sales were, um, well, one was three houses down from Jessica's house, and the other one was uh, to the end of the street and just around the corner. So it was nice. <laughs> Didn't have a lot of driving to do. So um, let me just say that Jessica, she got a gorgeous, gorgeous hutch for her dining room. Um, it was the perfect size that she had been looking for. So I was so happy that she found the hutch there. Um, she, we looked at the pictures beforehand and she said, make sure we bring a tape measure. She said, so I can, you know, make sure it's going to fit. And it like fits like a glove. So that was awesome. And I think she only spent like, I want to say 40 or $50 and it is in like mint condition. So that was an amazing find for her. So, um, one house had a mix of decor. The living room area was mostly Asian decor. But then in the uh, family room was um, mid-century modern. And um, I did get some really cool items uh, from this house as far as mid-century modern goes. Now, the other house was more up my alley of with more vintage stuff, um, like, you know, vintage glassware and, and stuff like that. So, I have everything is mixed together. Um, I'll, I'll try to remember which house I got what at. <laughs> um, I can tell you that one house I spent um, 70 like $72, uh, which was, I think, the one, the house with the mid-century modern stuff. And the other house, I spent like 100 It was like 90-some dollars. So, uh, let's get into this. Uh, I really have some great stuff. The reason I'm doing the haul in my living room today is because I just didn't feel like dragging everything to the kitchen table and then dragging it from there into the um, my eBay room. So I just decided to drag it from one spot. <laughs> so, all right, let's get started. So the house that had the mid-century modern items. So as far as I can remember, I did get these items. I got some amazing ornaments, Christmas tree ornaments, the handmade ones with the pins and the beads and the pearls and all that. These were at the Mid-Century Modern House. <clears throat> Look at this one, you guys. Now, I don't know, this, it doesn't like quite hang the way it should and I don't know why. I don't know if it's like, it's like cockeyed. I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> um, look at this ornament. Oh my goodness. Isn't this beautiful? I don't understand why it's hanging funny. It's like not hanging straight, but you get the gist. Like this is just beautiful. So I got that one. Then I got this one. And it's like purple and blue, like purple. Uh, it looks like purple um, carnival glass almost. Oh, it's gorgeous. Then I got this one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, 
Got this one. This one's beautifully done. Oh. This one. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one, um, I really didn't want this one, but she, I was grabbing them because they were hanging on this thing when you came in the front door. And <clears throat> the lady was trying to help me, so she grabbed this one as well. And I really didn't want it, but I took it anyways because it's kind of cool. So I did get those really cool items. Uh, let me see, what else did I get? Um, then I got... this blown glass flower and I'm assuming it's like a vase you would put your water in here and put your flowers in but it's just plain you know clear glass um I got these I got this this is really cool I just love the color isn't that cute <laughs> I don't know exactly if it's like a, it's supposed to be like a little vase. Um, I don't know who makes it. I don't see any markings on it. So I don't know. I just thought it was really neat. I've never seen anything of like roller skates. How cool is that? When do you see that? I never have. Um, I did get these beautiful, um, these are Goebel West Germany birds. And unfortunately, I dropped this one and broke the edge of the tail off and I could not find the other piece because it like flew and there were so many people in there. But let me, you know what? I'm, I feel like I'm so far from the camera. Hang on, guys, because this is hurt. I don't want to hurt my arm stretching it out. Uh-oh, we lost uh, we lost some, some sequins off of this. Um, here, where does it go? Off of this ornament. Oh, right here, right there. Get back in there, I say. Okay, let me move forward a little bit. Okay, that's better. So there is this one. Beautiful. I'm so, so mad. And then, of course, this little guy. I am so upset about that. At least if I could have found the piece, I could have glued it. So I guess I'm just going to touch it up, you know, what can I do? Nobody's going to want to buy, buy it like that. I'm just going to keep these. So, yep, I was pretty, I was pretty upset about it. Um, I got these really cute. These are, um, parakeets, um, little, oh my God, I'm dropping everything. These two little parakeet salt and pepper shakers. Look how cute they are. One is missing its little cork, but that's okay. I can replace that. But they are made beautifully. So I got those. Those are really neat. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh... I'm trying to, I, I wish I could remember everything that I got at um, this place. Uh, I'm, I'm just going with it. But I got to stretch my legs out. Oh, dear. Okay, there we go. One at a time. <laughs> All right. What else? I know I got more. But I can't remember. So anyways, I'm just going to move along with the haul. 
Um, I did find another, another Cubist candy dish. This one I think I might keep. I've, I've found several of these and I have sold all of them, including the cobalt blue one. And um, I've found a two or three clear ones and I've sold them all. But this one I think I might keep. I'm not positive yet. We'll see. But I really, I really like it. And I don't know. We'll see. Let me move this over here. If you see, see all these bags behind me? These are all from the Goodwill from Senior Tuesday and this one over here. And then I have a box of Salvation Army stuff as well. So I may, I may film another video right after this one. So if I do, I'll have on the same clothes. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Um, outside... I got this for a quarter because the handle was broken off. But you know what? You could still use it as a candy dish. I wasn't going to leave this for a quarter. Are you kidding me? Heck no. So the handle's broken off. Use it as a candy dish. Right? Oh my goodness, a quarter. I did get this. This is a really cool, um, I don't know, this is what's on the top. And it is, um, it's uh, painted on the outside. Um, what do you call that? Not flashed on, it's like uh, fired on, green on the outside, but then it's milk glass on the inside. And I'm assuming it was some sort of like uh, cream uh, that came in here. And I just thought it was really, really neat. So I got that. Uh, let me see. Oh, my friend Cheryl is going to have, like, she's going to have detached retina when I hold these, these two items up. <laughs> Yes, she is. Are you watching, my friend Cheryl? And you know which Cheryl I'm talking about. Okay, and these are um, Nashco products, hand-painted, New York. Oh, my goodness. Gorgeous! Where do you see this one? This one, actually, the color, the background color is actually the color of my bathroom. Yes, so this might be a keeper for me, this one. I'm not quite sure. I have to see how this looks in there. If I don't like it, then I'm going to sell it. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. And I mean, even the backs are in great condition. Like beautiful. Yes. So this one might go in my bathroom. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. If I don't like it, then you'll see it in a sale. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to slide this back here out of my way and I'm going to have a sip. I have, um, anybody ever drink those, um, LaCroix sparkling waters? This one is lime flavored. I like them. They're refreshing. Okay. Mid-century modern house. <laughs> yes, indeed. I got me some Lucite grapes. 
not one. Not two. These are more of a greenish yellow color. But three. Yes, indeed. I got three sets. Loving the blue. Loving the blue. Yes. First time I've ever found these out in the wild. So, there you go. <laughs> um, I found a Bluebird of Happiness. And it is signed by Ron, is it Ron Ray? Um, I can't see it now. Because, here it is. Ron Ray, I think it says 1991. So this was sitting up on a windowsill in a bedroom. And I said, oh, excuse me, snatch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. Perfect condition. Then I got this blue bottle. I just love it. Um, product of France, Riz de Paris. Uh, Eau de Fleur de Oranger. Orange flower water. And it's in a cobalt blue bottle. And y'all know this is going in my bathroom. It's an excellent condition. I love it. Oh, dang. I wanted to bring out, let me go get, it's going to take me like 10 minutes to get up off the floor. <laughs> so I'm going to pause the camera to go get my black light because I want to see if something that I purchased glows. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, here I am. Out of breath. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I got this, well, not unfortunately that I got them. I got this gorgeous set of blue candle holders. They're gorgeous, but they don't glow. No glow. I don't see any glow. Do you guys? I don't. So, but anyways, they still are beautiful. Love the color. Um, I'm going to have a hard time getting rid of these because you could see back there in the corner, I have a table of all blue glass. And I was thinking of keeping these. But I cannot keep everything. So... I don't know. If they you don't see them in a sale, then I'm keeping them. <laughs> um, I did get this. This is a beautiful, like a navy blue, gorgeous creamer and sugar bowl. It's a dark, like a dark navy blue. So, so pretty. I had to grab that. I've never seen anything like this in this color. I love it. So, and if I keep banging them together, it's going to be chipped. <sighs> you uh, comment all the time about my little uh, milk pitchers that I have on my shelf behind me in the kitchen. There's red, green, blue, and yellow. Those are called uh, Gay Rainbow, I believe it's called. Um milk pitchers and they I believe they came in boxes of I think it was Kix cereal back in like the 40s and I found a red one actually Jessica found it uh, on the counter in the kitchen she said hey ma'am look it's like what you have now this one does have a little a little uh chip of paint missing but that's it that's the only thing that's wrong with it so, there you go. 
Um, and I think these are Hazel, is it Hazel Atlas? I can't remember. But anyways, um, I did get a, a Hazel Atlas strawberry jam jar. And it is in perfect condition. It is beautiful. Um, I also got this. Um, I just sold one of these. And this one is actually in the box. And it is the... Um, the... Um, the silver plated candelabra flower frog. This one is a little bit different. This one is a little newer, but yeah, it's beautiful. It says uh, tarnish resistant and it says clean with soft, damp cloth, no silver polish. Made in Japan. That is a beauty. It's in fantastic. It's like, like new condition. William Rogers is the maker. So I made sure that I grabbed the box for it. Uh, we'll put this over here. Okay. My arm is sore today, too. I had therapy. Ugh. Okay, I got this for myself. I got this, um, the silver tape, um, just in case I should happen to need it for something. I know my daughter, they needed it to tape up something um, when they were hooking up the washer and the dryer. Aluminum tape, that's what it is, aluminum tape. So I did get this roll. It was only like two bucks, you know? So I got that for myself. I also got this for myself because I do not have one. I used to have one. Uh, my ex-boyfriend, um, every time he needed a tool, it left the house and I never saw it again. So 90% of my tools that I had at one time, I no longer have. So, I did not, I needed a pipe wrench. So, I just got myself this small one just to have it in case I should need it. Two bucks it was. Two dollars. Two dollars. Oh, my God, you guys. I... <laughs> If I didn't think I would get in trouble, I mean, it's not a naked picture. Um, in my last video, I was talking about the shower curtain that I purchased and how it was a nice heavy duty one, not like the ones you get from Dollar Tree that stick to your butt when you're in the shower. <laughs> well, my friend Corey <laughs> was saw the video and she sent me this... Um, like funny thing. <laughs> um, I'm going to attach a pic. I'm going to put it in here for you so you can crack up laughing as I did when I saw it. <laughs> I will put it right here. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. <laughs> Okay, um, I did get myself some candles. Uh, I got two very pretty long pink ones. I got one of these, the remember the pretty spiral ones? Now this one is a little bit, you know, crooked, but you know, so what? I'll do it, I'll do it like this way so you can't tell. <laughs> I got two really pretty green. I got this blue and this blue. And they're all brand new and still in the cellophane, you know? So I got those. All right. 
Jessica found these two um, items for me. Um, they were on a bookshelf. This was the other house. They were on a bookshelf in the dining room where she bought the hutch from. Look at this magazine. Look at every woman's magazine, April 1946. Oh my word. And this is in like fabulous condition. There's recipes in here. Clothes. Oh, look at these. I mean, how cool is this book? I mean, and it's really in fantastic condition. But this little girl on the front is everything. Is she PO'd or what? <laughs> she does not look very happy at this moment. Then there was this one. Um, the Art of Making Old Things New. It's put out by DuPont. Pennsylvania Dutch. That's what it looks like to me. Now, it's been taped back together, as you can see. But what a cool book. Let's see what the year is on this. Does it say copyright 1949? 1949. So that was a good find on Jessica's part for me. Um, I did get myself a couple of fantastic spatulas. Oh, these are wonderful. A dollar a piece. I got myself um, these two pretty little hand towels. They'll, they'll go in my bathroom. I got this for my mom because the one she had um, broke. So I got her this. Show it to you up close. It's pretty. And I found this picture. This is so cool. Look at this, you guys. This is an oldie. I know it's hard to see with the glare, trying to show you without the glare. This is the back. Look at the back. Wow. But yeah, I mean, what an awesome picture. So I got that. All right, let me pull, oh, I also got two beautiful, beautiful condition Corningware Blue Corn Flour. I got this casserole dish with the lid and the carrier. Now, I have several of these carriers down in my basement, 
Um, when I find them, I buy them because they're fantastic. You could use these also um, with your uh, Pyrex casserole dishes as well because there's they have these come in like three or four different sizes. So, but they are Corningware. It says Corningware right on the um, on the back there. I don't know if you could see that, but yeah. And then I got this. This is a nice, like an eight by eight. It's either eight by eight or nine by nine um, baking pan. You know, you could make brownies in there or whatever. And it's in fantastic condition. So I picked that up too. All right, I did get a bunch of linens, um, but I'm gonna show those um, after I show you the other um, glassware. So I'm gonna set these linens over here and I will show you um, the glassware. Oh, I did get these, these are so cute. These are made by Disney stainless steel spreaders um these are going to be for resale because i don't think my daughter will want them i don't think but you know you never know um i got oh my god i was so mad the other night you guys these are beautiful like cut to clear glass um votive holders and I bought three of them I bought the red one the green one and there was a blue one I had them sitting on the floor in the living room and I was walking and I kicked one with my foot it flew into the blue one and smashed it and that was the prettiest one, of course. So, I have two now. If it can happen, it's going to happen to me. <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. Um, I got this to hang in my kitchen window. Because I have some other, um, like, pretty sun catchers. So you can't really tell, but there's a yellow flower, a pink flower, and a blue flower. I found a Paragon teacup and saucer. And I was looking at it and I thought I might have saw a hairline but now I, now I can't see it. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? Or is that... Um, see in the bottom there, guys? I don't know. But anyways, this is it. And it's beautiful. And it has the double... It's the double warrant. Paragon. 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 And it is uh, His Majesty... The Queen, Queen Mary, Queen and Queen Mary. Yeah, see on the bottom, the hairline there? And then the saucer is just um, plain. It's yellow, like a pale yellow. So... I didn't realize the hairline in there, but like you can't, I don't, you can kind of feel it on the other side, but if it's just for decor purposes, you know, that's a gorgeous cup and saucer right there. So I probably won't be able to sell it for, you know, what I normally get for my Paragon cups, but we'll see. Um, I got this 
um, another beautiful um, tea, tea kettle um, trivet. I just thought it was really pretty. And it is, of course, I can't see. I cannot see in this light in here. I'm sure it's probably like Germany or something. I got, oh, I got another doorbell for my back door because my other one got broken. So I'll be hooking that up. I got another egg coddler. This one's pretty. Look at the pretty flowers on that one. It is made by, oh, it's Royal Wooster. Royal Wooster. Um, I did get a Fenton. Uh, I'm sure this glows. I'm pretty sure it's Amberina, and it is. See? The boot, the boot with the cattle. There's my French. <laughs> I bought this gorgeous cobalt blue vase. I just loved it. And it has a really pretty swirly pattern. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I saw all kinds of blue Fenton in the pictures. And when I got there, I saw this lady bringing it out. Instead of having all the glassware in one place, it was like in the bedrooms, you know. So I immediately went into the living room where all of the glassware was and all the, the other blue Fenton was in a bedroom. So I missed all of it but this. Beautiful little ruffled vase. It's a widow one. Snooze you lose, you know. I guess I gotta walk in these places and just like do a quick, you know, eye it out. Go it out and zoom to the next room. You know, so I don't miss nothing. <laughs> I was upset. Um, I got these beautiful little bird salt and pepper shakers. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Now, these are not um, older. They're made in China. Uh, but they are just adorable. And I would consider them to be anthropomorphic. So I may be keeping these because I do collect the anthropomorphic um, salt and pepper shakers. So I'm probably keeping these. Probably. I did get this uh, bottle of Avon California perfume. Let me show it this way because the lighting is just from the kitchen. I used to have a bottle like this, but it, I didn't have the, um, this is, uh, 1976. Um, but it didn't have the box. It was just the bottle, but mine was older, I think, than 1976. And I got rid of it because at that time I wasn't into vintage stuff. So. Um, I did get a set of these gorgeous green depression glass with the black bottom. Look at these beautiful glasses. There's a set of six of them, but they don't glow. I already checked them. There's, there's no, well, not really. Not really. 
but they have the pretty grape pattern on there. Those are gorgeous. And then the last item, I think this is, oh no, the last glass item, and then I will show you the linens. Oh my goodness. Now this is one of the smaller um, e-perns, but it is the gorgeous Fenton Hobnail e-pern. And it is in perfect condition. So there is one, there is another one that's larger than this one. But look at, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Oh, this will be an offer up item in a live sale. I, I'm not keeping it. It will be an offer up item. All right, let me start with. Well, you saw the towels that I got for myself. I did get uh, some amazing, look how stinking cute those are. It's got like the confetti yarn or whatever. Oh, they're adorable. Absolutely adorable. Then I got these. And these, love this color, these colors, I should say, combination. These, and then I got, let me just show you these, there's these two larger ones. Love the turquoise and the yellow. She was trying to use up that confetti yarn. <laughs> Hi, buddy. What are you doing? And then I got these. So we have purple and white and green and white. Blue and white, and is that purple or brown? I think it's brown. Blue and white and brown and white. Then orange and white and yellow and I think pink maybe? Or cream, one of the two. I can't tell in this lighting, guys. I, I am sorry about that. So those are the... Um, the pot holders. What are you doing? No, you're not laying on my linens. Heck no. No, sir. No. Sorry. <laughs> I got this adorable apron. Red gingham. Oops, it's the wrong way. And now he's trying to get the strings what does it say on the bottom give us this day isn't that beautiful it's got nice long ties too and it's in excellent condition Um, I got some beautiful tea towels. That one. Where's the other ones? Hang on, guys, because these are... These are, like... Okay, so we have a green trim. I don't know if these are tea towels or if these go on a dresser. I'm not quite sure. You guys let me know. They might be tea towels. I'm not sure. But I don't think so. 
And then these are all like the same, the same thing. So there's this one. This one. These are all starched, you know. There's the set of two of this one. There's two of these, the little red uh, heart flowers. Then there's this one. That one's pretty. I like the uh, embroidery or whatever that is there. And then there's this. I think this is a sheet for a baby crib. Look at this. I got it anyway. Look how stinking cute that is. It's a long rectangle. So my thought is that it is a, a sheet for a crib. That is just adorable. I couldn't pass that up. Look at that little ducky's face. Oh my word. Oh, goodness gracious. And the last item is this amazing, this is a Pennsylvania Dutch tablecloth. Oh, look at that. Is that amazing or what? There are a couple of um, stains on it, but nothing really major because I did open it up. Look at this. Look at No, maybe it wasn't this one. It was a different one that I opened up and looked at, and it had too many stains for my liking, so I passed on it. But, yeah, this one is in really good condition, and it's been, like, starched, and it's beautiful. Um, I'm not quite sure what size it is. I'm guessing it's probably, like, maybe 50 by 50 or 52 by 52, some somewhere in that probably would fit my kitchen table. So that is it, everybody. Um, I was very happy with um, the items that I got. I especially love the Epern. Uh, I've never found one of those in the wild. Um, other than like in an antique store. So yeah, I was, um, I was even more happier that they were like really close together. <laughs> but uh, actually I was the most happy that Jessica found a hutch for her dining room. So that, uh, that made the trip all worthwhile. Um, so Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off here and probably film another video. Uh, I, I would like to, you know, get a couple filmed at least because I've got so much happening here. Uh, Jessica's been finally is moving the rest of her stuff out. So I'm like reorganizing and moving things and trying to put another my craft room back together. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, I'm, I've am i got about 6,000 things going on at the same time. So I'm, I'm like, I'm just exhausted. Um, so um, I have my sale Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern time. I'm not sure when I'm putting this video out. Today is Thursday, so tomorrow, Friday... I have my pop-up barware sale at 11 a.m. Eastern. And uh, I guess that's it, everybody. Um, just to let everyone know, um, uh, our, our friend Jane 
new house from uh, Dog on Happy Vintage. Uh, many of you know she has had a couple of surgeries on her back. And she is not able to work. She's not able to do her sales or anything. So there is a GoFundMe page for Jane, if, for anyone that would like to try and, you know, help out. So I will leave the link for that in the description box of this video. So um, any little bit, you know, you could help would be, you know, really uh, amazing and it would be greatly appreciated. So, um on that note, guys, I'm out of here. So I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.